Well, what's going on, YouTubers? For our ladies and gentlemen, it's the Natural Born Thriller. And welcome, everyone, to All Elite Wrestling Review, the show from uh, May 17th, 2021. This will be your AEW Dark Elevation results. Your commentators were Tony Schiavone and Paul White, who retains to Dumby in Day's place in Jacksonville, Florida. So let's get right into it, folks. The opening match was Jungle Boy being okay by Luchasaurus. I mean, Triceratops Express, excuse me. But you know, Luchasaurus was there. So, uh, as he, you know, Jungle Boy goes up against uh, Adrian uh, Alanis. And matches up was pretty decent with Jungle Boy getting the win. Uh. Oh yeah, so Dustin Rose versus Aaron Solo with anti Gogo, Nick Camarado, and QT Marshall at ringside. So Dustin Rose had his match against Aaron Solo. It's been pretty decent. Um, Nick Camarado got involved, which, you know, referee uh, kicked him out for that. And but not, not, not just Nick Camarado, but also anti Gogo and QT Marshall, basically the rest of the factory, while it was just between Dustin Rose and Aaron Solo. So, match to continue on. And from there, it started picking up uh, pretty, pretty good. In the end, it was Dustin Rose getting the win. After the match, Dustin Rose going to add more insult to injury to, um, to Aaron Solo. All of a sudden, Nick Camarado comes out and takes him out with the bull, uh, the the bull rope that um Dustin Rose brought out with him. And the rest of the factory came out, and then all of a sudden, Lee Johnson comes in there from the steel chair to chase away the factory, and that was it. So there you go. So there's still all uh, drama between the the Nightmare Family and the factory. Eddie Kingston and John Moxley, Wild Things, <laughs> because they come out with the theme song Wild Things. It's this a different theme song this time. Um, I can't remember the original um you know bands that that's, that you know when Moxley came out at first. Uh, but now it's uh, another upgrade of the Wild Things song. You know, it's you know same lyrics and everything, but uh, but di different vocals. You know, different type of uh, tone of vocals. But it was best. That's what I basically want to call them by, the Wild Things, going up against you know the. Uh, like the radioactive Bobby, Dane Limelight, and Royce Isaacs. Match itself was um, decent. Not much to talk about that other uh, than Moxley and Ekinson. Wild Things wins the match. We go backstage and we see Jake Roberts uh, with Lance Archer. Jake Roberts says that he with Lance Archer. Um, he's with Lance Archer because he sees gold with him, but he uh, scolds Archer. And also, Lance Archer interrupts and says that while he's not uh, looking uh, past uh, Bear Bronson, he says now he wants Miro and he wants the TNT title. And Drake Roberts responds by, "Yes, the yes, yeah, the title, but now, but but now, but now, but but not for for free." Excuse me. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. And Archer says that they are doing it uh, his way. Nobody's going to stop him because everybody dies. There you go. Uh, then we get to Lance Archer versus Bear Bronson. And that just was pretty decent. Uh, back and forth. And while we had Jake Roberts on commentary while this is going on. But yeah, anyway, the match was pretty decent. Back and forth between uh, both guys. You know, uh, Lance Archer looked more stronger, obviously. Uh, because Lance Archer was the one is getting um, that push against Miro for doing nothing for the title. Which, you know, that has not been announced, uh, you know, we're, uh, during this time. But it... That's gonna be that's gonna be the um the program that gonna be leading to, but in the end it was Lance Archer winning, and there you go. And my God, did he ever uh get the win by doing the blackout, which you know it was uh with incredible strength of the Murderhawk Monster Lance Archer. Then we get to a showcase that Paul White uh, host, as he showcased the Hollywood Hunk, Ryan Nemeth, the brother of Dolph Ziggler. So, Random if, um, basically it was talked about where it says to uh, how he ended up in the AEW and how AEW changed his life and how, you know, he isn't, um, you know, somebody's sidekick, teammate, or little brother, basically referencing Dolph Ziggler, and they show a picture of, of him and Dolph Ziggler together, a flashback, basically, and they were laying, um, you know, and they're laying him be Brian Nemeth, and, you know, Paul asked well, where the Highway Hunk name came from, he says, um, 
uh, you know, credit the people uh, who gave him, you know, him the name or uh, to him being uh, worked in Hollywood. And let me uh, glad to found a home here in AW and said and says, you know, you know, about the pre picture, which that's the faction that they're in, which is to um Peter Avalon, Cesar Bononi, and J D Drake. And never says that he found some connection with you know with with, with these guys. And Paul White asks uh where does oh, his uh, his goal leads him from there. Says that you know his goal is to be the face of the company. <laughs> which ain't gonna happen. But it's, it's but it starts with dark. So there you go. So yeah, go with that go with that run I mean not 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 I'm not trying to uh no Talk him down or anything. He is good. Uh, he 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 does wrestle like his brother. Um, you know, Dolph Ziggler. But uh, we'll see we'll see how over the future holds for him. Uh, in the AW. We get to Natalie Mark Mar Markovri Ko Ko Kova Natalie Markova versus Leila Hirsch, and the match result was pretty decent with uh Leila Hirsch winning. Ethan Page and Scorpio Sky defeated Jalen uh, Brandon and uh, Trayvon Jordan in the match I thought it was pretty decent. And Ethan Page and you know Scorpio Sky wins. Because again, they're gonna be they'll be facing Darby Allen Sting or it's still about nothing, which that, that has been announced, uh which we'll get to we'll, we'll get to more of that um you know eventually. Matt Hardy, the bunny, and the blade are backstage, and yet still no uh, butcher. Uh, Matt Hardy says that the people grew, uh, evolved, and got better uh, once the Hardy uh, family office got together. He knows that Bunny um, has gotten better and gained more uh, rage since um, you know joining uh, the the, uh, the Hardy uh, family office, giving uh, you know, a warning to Colin King, and basically uh, Bunny, the Bunny says, you know, everyone uh, misunderstood her. You have ever you, you know, have you ever been down the rabbit hole? Because that's exactly where you're going to. You know, basically talking about Kylan King. So we get to the match. Uh the bunny being covered by the heart the um you know the Hardy family office versus Kylan King. And the match itself was pretty decent. Uh, and then in the end it was uh the bunny getting the win over Kylan King. Um uh, but not with the not with, with the rabbit hole finishing move. Um because you know the, the the blade distracted uh you know the referee while Bunny hits her with a, a, a big shot uh you know that sends Kylie King down um I'm assuming it was something that my Hardy gave to her yeah it was so that my Hardy gave to her it was like a, a like a, wrap, a wrapped up a black wrapped up tape brass knuckles to knock out you know Kylie King and Kylie King uh you know pertains to uh the Bunny adding more uh, insult to injuries gives Kylie King. The, the rabbit, you know, you know, down the rabbit hole. That's yeah, that, yeah, that's what I meant to say. The rap, down the rabbit hole, uh, is is a fishing move that that uh, the bad bunny does, which is a final cut that you know, uh, that's been done um before like like guys like like Paul White, which he calls it just the final cut, and then with um the, the hurricane, he called it he called it the eye of the hurricane. Uh, but bad bunny, bad bunny. I mean, I'm um, not bad bunny, <laughs> but the bunny, Ali, uh. She puts uh you know some influence into it, but it tends to jumping up in the air and then down the rabbit hole. So there you go. But um at, you know they're, they're just gonna add more insult to injuries to uh to Kylan King. Also, Big Swole comes out for the save because Big Swole and Kylan King are also you know uh, together along with Red Velvet. And for a reason, Red, Red Velvet was out there. I don't know why, but I digress. But yeah, there you go. That was it. No, not much to say. Um. So yeah, there obviously when Big Swole isn't there, isn't isn't there. Yeah, you gotta you have to run away because you know Big Swallow, she's 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 always gotta uh, get involved. <laughs> and you know, in the mean in the uh in the in the, in the nasty way. Hmm. Max Caster uh rap highlights on uh Blackwood and Bennett. Which is um Kevin Bennett and Kevin Blackwood. So the rap was uh to our the favorite uh, twinks, that's all uh, your know, Max Caster's words. Uh, heard that that they were uh they were uh, yeah they were a rapper. Uh, you shouldn't uh probably and they and they should and they should probably quit. I should say. Uh, I was gonna say shouldn't, but you know, um, what gets, but but Max Caster said to the opponents they should quit. Hope you can uh, swallow because 
I know you can't spit. And you punch um you know the guy with you know who who tatted uh, you up. Look at look at your whole arm. You're blacker than us. And there you go. So the match happens. This is a match with the claim the acclaim winning. After the match, um Oh yeah, after the match, uh <laughs> well, for a reason. Anthony Bowens grabs the hand of, of Bennett and puts hands hands on it and rubs it on the chest of um who's the other guy? Again? Oh yeah, Blackwood. I'm like okay, I, I I didn't get that at all, but okay. Ethan Page and Scorpio Sky talk about their wins again. Okay, they, that's what they always do. They always win. They say that they would celebrate uh winning the win in front of the of the camera. But they will celebrate Gabriel Allen losing the TNT title. Page says that he wants to be um, fair to Miro. But he says that they had uh, a hand in, in Allen's win. I uh, uh, lost, I meant to say. Lost. Uh, 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 losing the title. Sky says that they didn't want Sting to interfere. Which is why they did what they did. And they compare. And Sky compares them to Blade and Nero teaming up. And there you go. Whatever. QT Marshall being coming by the factory of Aaron Solo, Anthony Ongogo, and Nick Camarado versus uh, Baron Black. The match I thought was pretty decent with, obviously, with, with the dime cutter uh, onto QT, um, by QT Marshall to uh, Baron Black. QT Marshall wins. No much to say. Joey Janela versus Daniel uh, Garcia. On well, a match I thought was decent, with George not winning. The factory are backstage. QT Marshall says that uh, you're know, glad that AEW is going back on the road, and says that how America is beautiful is to Anthony Ogogo. and but all Anthony Ogogo uh, has has seen in this dump of Jacksonville, Florida, um, and else, um, yeah, basically that's what Anthony Ogogo said. Um, that's from yeah. You know, basically, that's what Anthony Gogo said. Uh, but then Kitty Marshall says, you know, that of course Cody Rose um beat him because it was in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, he says that Jacksonville, Florida is filled with rednecks and hillbillies. And and then Anthony Gogo says, Jacksonville is a dump, and the whole South is a dump. Says that yo, know, that's not why he hates America. He hates America because. It uh, values money more than its uh, than its life. Uh, calls out America's uh, healthcare system and the United States putting kids in cages. <clears throat> um, says that Cody Rose is um you know uh in in epitome of America. I don't know. I don't know if, he's, if, if how he said it in a way because you know his accent. Um, and you know, Google said. Uh, you know, promise uh, that he'll be Cody Rose, which he won't, uh, which is unfortunate. Uh, said that Cody Rose may have beaten uh, other uh, British wrestlers like uh, uh, Douglas Williams, which he has, uh, uh, Will Ospreay, which he has, even a pack, which he has. But he 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 failed to mention too, Nick Aldis, because remember uh, back in All In in 2018, Cody Rose defeated Nick Aldis, who was the A the, the NWA excuse me the NWA uh, World Champion. I totally won it back though on that same year. Hmm. But yeah, he forgot to mention that though. But I guess Nick also doesn't matter, right? Whatever. To me, to me, he matters. Because at the end of the day, wrestling matters. But there you go, folks. Um. Oh yeah, he says that he's the go- he's the- he's the- he's the governor of AEW. Yes, that's Andy Google saying this. So. I mean, he, he, it was a good promo from Anthony Corbin, but I like the part when he said about, about the whole kids in cages. That was not needed. Prior party, Isaiah Cassidy and Mark Quinn uh, the, uh, versus the Dark, Dark, the Dark Order's Alex Reynolds and Five. And match I thought was pretty decent with the, the Dark Order winning. I mean, not not, not Dark Order, uh, Prior Party winning, I meant to say. Because obviously, they, uh, you know, my heart got involved. Because at one point, my heart got kicked out, but then my heart came back. And cheated for 
Probably, probably too much. All of a sudden, the blade comes out to choke out uh, Alex Rondos. And Dwarf runs out. And then they all get, you know. And then, uh, you know, the family, uh, the, the Hardy family office, I meant to say, uh, ran away. And there you go. Alex Marvez, uh, makes this backstage with, uh, uh, Chris Tanander, the Galaxy Greatest Alien. Uh, Chris Tanander tries to talk to, uh, um, you know, talk about Orange Cassidy of the towel shot. Also, Britt Breaker, uh, comes out of nowhere and interrupts over her. AW Women's uh, Champion, champion uh, Hikaru Shida comes in and tells, uh, you know, Britt Baker, uh, you know, to, to bring it as she, she slaps, uh, your, a uh, Rebel's uh, crutch away. And the way that was done to my way, when when uh, Shida hit that um that crutch away from a uh, rebel, rebel which you want to say, it almost hit Chris Tanner. Oh my god, that that would have been bad. Oh my god. Uh, and then Britt Baker and Rebel left, and then Shida and Sander stand together and everything. And to me, I think that was that would have been a little bit awkward because if I was Chris Tanner, I'm like, yo, you almost hit me with that <laughs> with, with a crutch. Oh my god. No, that that would that would have been bad. Oh, it missed her by about uh, like like a feet. But man, that was that was that was, that was a close call. But there you go. That was it. That was it for that one. So, J D Drake and Ryan Nemeth with Peter Avalon and Cesar Bononi at ringside. Uh, versus uh Derek Pesautoro and Roman Rosel maybe. <laughs> with of uh, the first sergeant at ringside. Sorry, uh, folks, I, I couldn't pronounce these last names. <laughs> um, but I digress. But the match happens. Um, decent match with DJ, I mean, JD, excuse me, Drake, and random winning. Uh, we see a Fuzzer, uh, and um, you know, Rip Baker uh, fighting each other, which is the whole uh, Forbes uh, photo shot. Um, uh, you know, which, uh, that was, that was something that Rebecca talked about, uh, um, when she been in Ruby Badger Ross on that Dynamite show. Um, and, yeah. Nothing much to say. Um, about that. They show that, basically, they, 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 they put more heat and more build-up between Sheila and, and Britt Baker where it tends to the match at Double Nothing because it's been a, a one-year build and it's become personal. So. Ty Conti versus someone by the name of Tia Dream. Don't know who that is, but it's a decent match with uh, Ty Conti winning. There you go. Uh, Harry, the Hardy family office are backstage. Now Hardy admits that the party party didn't need um, his help, but uh, he wanted to correct the, the injustice done and says that if Ryan Reynolds uh, likes being uh, leached on, uh, then you know, if John Silver... Uh, 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 liked of uh, seeing it, uh, he will leech on the life of John Silver if he wants milk. Yeah, you know, if if when you know, whenever he's murky clear, and says that he will leech on the life of the Dark Order as well, and that was it. There you go. Not much about about, about that promo. So, Peter El Zero Miedo with Alex, um, um, and Brahan Hens Hendes. Now I'm really forgetting his, saying his last name now. <laughs> Alex uh, Abraham has, um, you know, at ringside. But Pentel Zimmer went against Robo. Yeah, yeah, if you ask me who's Robo, I have no idea. But Pentel Zimmer wins. And the match was decent, so I'll give it that. Dona Rosa versus Robin Remigade. Um, so yeah, I, li I like this uh, Robin Rem Remigade chick. She she's got a cool personality. Um, so yeah, uh, she had a match against Donna Rosa. It was decent with Donna Rosa winning. So, there you go. Pretty Picture are, you know, backstage. And if I remember, actually, no, it was actually on BTE. But, hey, but, uh, Brian Demet gives, um, a speech about the Office of War. D, you know, JD Drake, uh, wishes Nimif, uh, would stop dancing. Uh, Benoni, of course, everyone to put their pinkies in while buttering up to JD Drake. And there you go. Nothing to say about that. I got nothing to say about that. It's an odd, it's an odd thing. So, 
Brian Cage with Hook at ringside versus Mike Sado with Matt Sado at ringside. And that just was pretty good between the two guys, back and forth in a, in a way. In the end, obviously, Brian Cage got the win. And yeah, there you go. And that will do it for AW Dark Elevation results for this All Elite Wrestling Review, the show from uh, May 17th, 2021. 16 matches we're going to talk about wrestling. And my overall strength of this show, I'm going to go with a... Uh, I'm going to go with a 7.5 out of 10. And with that being said, thank you all for watching for It's the Natural Born Thriller saying peace on the streets. Until next time, folks, take care.